Right, I welcome you to the first lesson of this course. This section covers everything you need to know about Facebook and Instagram ads, okay, and uh, how it works. The first thing you need to know about Facebook and Instagram ads is that both platforms are owned by a company named Meta, okay. So during the training, when you hear me say Meta ads, I'm simply talking about Facebook and Instagram ads combined together, okay? Now, you might be wondering what is Meta ad or Meta advert. Meta ads is actually an advertising platform that is owned by Mark Zuckerberg, okay? I believe the name is familiar. Yes, this platform allows businesses and advertisers to create and display targeted adverts to users on Facebook and Instagram. Now, how does this meta ad system work? I would explain that in a minute okay an advertiser simply pays meta to showcase his or her product to active users on both facebook and instagram okay so that's the meaning of meta ads a situation whereby an advertiser pays meta to showcase his or her product to active users on both Facebook and Instagram, you understand? So, as a user on Facebook, whenever you are scrolling through your timeline and then you see a post that carries this sponsored tag, sponsored, it should inform you that the owner of the page or the advertiser have paid Meta to run this promotion on the Facebook platform, okay? And also on Instagram, when uh, scrolling through your feed and you see a post with the sponsored tag, you know that this brand or advertiser have paid Meta to promote this post on the platform okay right so for you to identify a post that is being uh, sponsored by meta whenever you are scrolling through your facebook and uh, instagram look out for those posts that are tagged sponsored okay now the question is how do these advertisers actually run these adverts? So that's the reason why we are here. How to become an advertiser yourself. Okay. So for the basic information, it will be nice to inform you that sponsored ads are actually run from a platform that we call Meta ads manager or ads manager right so the ad manager professionally define campaign objectives okay it is a platform where you put in the budget of your ad okay how much you want to spend per day or for a week and it's also the platform where you put the demography of your ad, okay? By demography, I mean the age of the people you want to see your advert, okay? In terms of the gender of the people you want to see your advert, the location of the people is also part of the demography okay so with the demography part that is where you put in all these things 
in fact this ad manager also carries sections where you put the interests the behavior and other specific details about the person that you want to see your product on facebook or instagram okay so when a user on facebook or instagram fit in those criteria you have set on the ad manager i mean the the gender that you choose the location that you have set on the ad manager then they are eligible to see your advert on the respective platform okay now the question is how much does meta charge for advertisers to promote on facebook and instagram the fact is that there is no defined amount that is charged for these ads you will be running but meta has a system and this system puts so many factors into consideration before it determines how much to charge the advertiser for a particular advert okay there are three main models that advertisers can choose from the first one is what we call cost per click okay the cpc billing method we also have the cost per mile cpm billing method lastly we have what we call the cost per action the cpa billing method now what does this three billing model means right the cost per click actually means that you would pay when someone clicks on your ad for instance this uh, very ad okay the moment you click on it the person okay get charged for you clicking on the ad so basically it explains the cpc billing model the second one i mentioned is the cpm so this basically is when you pay the thousand impression of your ad okay yes so with this you will be charged when you reach thousand impression of your ad now what are impressions impressions basically are the eyes that sees the ad so impressions basically are the eyes that sees the ad it's basically the eyes that sees the ad so if you are running this kind of ad the moment people see your ad you will be charged without the person clicking on it okay so with this you will be charged when thousand people sees your ad okay so that's the cost per mile model now the third one is the cpa cost per action billing model with this method you will be charged when a specific action is taken okay example if you sell watches now you will only pay when someone purchases that watch okay yes so mind you this uh, method you will be charged when a specific action is taken right so facebook charges advertisers based on these three models the cpa that's the cost per click model we have the cpm that's the cost 
per mile model and uh, lastly the CPA that's the cost per action model so don't worry we will discuss which one you should use for your ads and why you should use them okay in the subsequent video i will explain further right